It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> but I have good news for you. This is the beginning of the home building vlogs. Shit is about to get real. So let's build a house. I've shared so many behind the scenes on Instagram and TikTok, but I haven't done an official like long form episode one content for building our house. If you're new to my channel, I have huge moments documented. Our first house we ever built, I have literally every step of that house being built broken up into episodes on my channel. And I am just so grateful that I did that. I still go back and look at that house even though that chapter has closed and I love that it's on my YouTube. I also have my IVF journey, my pregnancy, newborn days with Nash, and then shit got real. And it, it just gets so hard to film and edit and you know how it goes. If you're a mama, you know how that goes. He's a toddler now, he's two. Gosh, you haven't seen him in a while and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that because he's the cutest dang thing ever. But I am very happy to be sitting down and starting the first official house vlog. My plan is to document this home building process even better than the last. Our builder actually has a drone, so we'll be able to really show some good fit footage of the house being built. And I'm just happy this is gonna be on my channel. As you probably already know, I am primarily on other social media platforms at the time. Initially, I was thinking that I was gonna document this all on Instagram or maybe even TikTok because TikTok has a longer video filming limit as far as time goes. And I posted in my private Facebook group, my VIP group, Elevate Motherhood, and a lot of people commonly said that it would obviously make more sense to do longer videos on YouTube and then some shorter clips and behind the scenes of the progress on Instagram and TikTok. And that does make sense because YouTube obviously does not have a cap for how long the video is. And TikTok, you, re you can record up to 10 minutes, which is pretty good. I feel like that's a good episode or a good chunk of time, but I just know that past home building, building vlogs for me were a lot longer and I really wanna get in depth and I just feel like, let's say five years from now or even 10 years from now, I don't document it on my YouTube like I did the first house and I just have information that's missing, like this just gap of this huge chapter in our life and I don't want to regret it. Basically, I'm going to do my best to get the home vlogs posted here. If you watch them, thank you. Thank you for being here and cheering us along on the way. And if you don't watch them, that's fine too. And I do want to say, if you're following along on Instagram and helping me make decisions like Floor Saga, I do want to say thank you because it actually does mean a lot to me. I have always been the type of person to take what you say into account and listen to the advice you have to give me, whether it be motherhood or, you know, just life in general and home building is part of that. And I just wanna say thank you for participating in this part of my life. Floor Saga, if you know, you know. It's so crazy because if you look like this, a lot of people on Instagram said that this sample was too orange. So I'm pointing it at a very orange light right now, which in our new house, we're in an apartment right now. And that's like all the lighting. It's like yellow lighting, small areas. And that's what it's gonna pick up on. The yellow, yellow light is gonna bring out any like yellow or orange in the sample. If you watch me real quick, turn it into natural lighting, which is what our house is mostly gonna be, um, it changes. So there's gonna be giant windows, lots of natural lighting, not yellow lighting in the new house. So that is something to consider. I love this floor sample. Every time I turn it this way, it's like orange. I love this floor sample because I like the knots in it. I like the texture. We want that real rugged, kind of like we salvaged it from an old barn and turned it into a floor in our house. But I'm getting way, 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 way ahead of myself. I need to backtrack a little bit. So we chose our builder. We are going with Dark Horse Texas. So a little bit about Dark Horse, our builders. I'm just gonna go through this really quickly because you're probably gonna see them a lot. You're probably gonna see their faces a lot. They're amazing. They're literally amazing. And we trust them with every part of this house. I'm the type of girl that's, I'm very open-minded and you know, I don't make the big bucks building houses. They do. So I just really trust them. It's James and Chris who own Dark Horse and they're both amazing. Matt really identifies with James when it comes to like the construction part of it and the financial part of it and like what's gonna make more sense as far as our property goes, which I need to tell you about the property here in a second too, but 
Chris is like the ruler of all things pretty and she's really good at making sure it's pretty but not only pretty making sure it's functional so okay my camera is about to die so if it dies I'll just change the battery and we'll keep on going we started the architecture process and something about a custom home is yeah it's a custom home you get to choose what you want and like you're kind of like oh my god this is amazing like I can choose exactly what I want and I don't have to um you know I I'm customizing my floor plan from nothing from literally nothing we get to pick the size of the rooms the number of rooms of course but like every single cabinet every single turn you make every single hall every single niche every single everything we don't use a formal dining we're not going to have a formal dining we didn't use an office we're not going to have an office but i'm going to have a custom built-in office in our master bedroom and it's just little things like that that along the process i just it really hit us where it's like oh my god like we are making a custom home which is like another huge reason why i want to document it on our channel like this is huge I think we did four revisions of our plans and we just finalized the floor plan. Next up is, I guess, like the interior plan. So like cabinet doors, does that include doors? I'm not sure. That's the next step. I'm just so happy that the floor plan got finalized. It was fairly easy. There's just, you second guess like sizes of rooms and with every step of the way, you, like I know exactly what I want, but then whenever it gets put on paper and it's time to like finalize everything, I second guess everything. So that has, been like a struggle I will say with one part of this process so find a builder you love because they will suggest things to you walk you through things and make sure you're making the right decision for you and your family we actually have a meeting on Tuesday which is four days from now to go over cabinet colors and all the fun is about to begin so I wanted to start the vlogs now so that I could bring you with us to go pick out cabinets and stuff like that. So the reason that I have the flooring sample is because something that we love about Dark Horse is we already did all of our interior selections. If you go to my Instagram, I have it all saved to a highlight. It's called Rancho Burrow. We've been calling it El Rancho Burrow. And um, it's all saved to a highlight. You can see what we picked for our countertops you can see what we picked for our tile floors on instagram we've been calling it floor saga because i picked a floor i thought i loved and then i picked another floor that was way too gray and rustic and i was just kind of like uh i don't know and then i went ahead and got this sample from a company called provenza and i'm absolutely obsessed it looks exactly like my inspo pictures and i think as long as we're careful about the lighting and the cabinets and the furniture in our house it's going to be a good a good selection we're just like really vibing with the warm tones we want this house to be very warm and rustic ish more like a hill country texas style if you're from texas then Think like if you were to go to the Frio River and stay in a cabin. That's like the vibe we want, a bougie version of that. We just want to build a life and build a home that we don't need a vacation from. And actually, James and Chris said that to us in our first meeting with them. And it kind of stuck with me because that's how Matt and I are. We, we love to be home. We love to be in the backyard with Nash and our family. And you know, if we're gonna spend our money, it's not on material things. You, if you know us, you know. If you've been following me, you know. It's not a material things. We don't have any toys. We do have nice vehicles that I'm very proud of, but we own them. We don't have any debt. We obviously cannot pay cash for our home, so we're gonna be taking out a mortgage, but like I was saying, if we're gonna spend the money, it's gonna be in our home. Whereas a lot of people choose their spend, to spend their money in other things that they really enjoy. Ours is our home. It's our happy place. And it's where we love to be so we are very excited for this process and i'm very excited to take you with us and i knew i probably needed to start the vlogs sooner than later so after we kind of got an idea of what we wanted the floor plan to be dark horse has this thing where you go and basically they project your floor plan you you walk into this big like metal building and it's full of blank walls but they project your floor plan a scale to size so you can see like where walls are, how big rooms are. If you want to um, push out a wall or take in a wall, you can walk the floor plan virtually and make any changes you need. So we did that. We had, mm, I wouldn't say too many changes. I don't know if James and Chris would agree with that. Um, but we did have a few significant changes where like I took a step back and I was like, I am so grateful that they have this for us because I don't know how people build houses without it. I feel like, 
If you didn't have this, it would be very expensive. You would have all kinds of change orders. It prevents a lot of expensive mistakes or and or expensive changes. So we went ahead and did that, made all of our changes. Like I said, we did all of our selections and that was so much fun just like personalizing this house. Let me just go ahead and say, there are people on Instagram that I'm sharing this process with that are either like, hell yes, I'm vibing, I'm loving this, Michelle. This is amazing. Like you can see the vision, you love my selections, yada, yada, yada. And there are other people who want to kick me off the internet or ban me from building a house because I am not building the standard influencer house. Like what you see when you scroll on TikTok and Instagram. I'm just not. <laughs> you either love it or you hate it. But I just, I wanted every single thing that we picked out for this house to be because we love it. Matt wanted to warm up the house a lot. I, we both love the hill country vibe, but I wanted to make a plan to really stick to that vibe. Even if those selections kind of scared me a little bit because it, it is different. It's really different. We're going to have a lot of stone, a lot of browns, and I guess that's just not in. But whenever I see my life with my kids, that's the house I envision being in. You know, I want our friends and family to come over and just feel like they're escaping a little bit and I want them to never want to leave, you know? I just want to have this cozy home. And then also to add to that, which you will see in future vlogs whenever we go out to the property and as we start clearing our lot, our lot is just rough land right now. Um, I'll insert a picture here too. We got to clear it ourselves. So it's just like build on your own lot. We could use any builder we want, but we love our neighborhood because it feels like we out there, like in the country. If you have multiple lots in our community, you're actually allowed to have a horse, cows, um, and I can't have chickens. I'm still bitter about that one. Apparently chickens will decrease your property value so annoying but we still have like a few guidelines in the community and then also we've always thought like oh my gosh like we want to live on land one day we want to like grow our food and have our little homestead right a little burr homestead but i don't know if that's a smart decision when it comes to nash growing up and our future kids because i love the idea of him like riding bikes in the neighborhood and you know having neighborhood friends to grow up with and his friends from school being in the same community sports and stuff like that if we're like way out there on you know five to ten acres he's just not gonna have that he he can it'll be like a buddy down the dirt road i like that we have the community and it feels like we're in the country so like i was saying our lot is needs to be cleared we're going to show share that process with you and you're going to be able to really see the lot whenever we start to clear it we wanted to make sure that we knew exactly where our home was going to be with on the lot because we want to keep as many trees as possible we are going to have like you know we'll have a front yard we're going to have a backyard because we have dogs we can't like just plop a house right in the middle of the forest because we have dogs and children. So um, we're gonna have like a perimeter of course, like where our house is, but we wanna keep as much trees as safely possible as well on the property. And then our property also, which is like really unheard of where we live, but I'm so happy to have it. We share a creek with our neighbors. We've never experienced something like that before. I feel like you have to like go a little bit more towards out west for the part of Texas we live. It's not the hill country of Texas. And I feel like that's where you start to see like really creeks and stuff like that. So I'm just really excited that we have a creek. Like mind you, it's gonna be a dry creek because we live in Texas, it's dry as hell. Um, but we went out there after like a heavy rain day and it was a good flowing creek and I cannot wait for that and we walked the creek um, I think I have some footage of that too but and it was so cute we were out there with Nash and he was like Nash Creek Nash Creek Nash Creek and I was like yeah baby that's Nash Creek that's your creek and Matt's like you know he's gonna be down here in this creek like every time it rains and that just kind of gives me a little bit of a heart attack but it's okay we'll cross that bridge when we get there we have found this little slice of heaven and we know what it's gonna take to make this dream come true a lot of hard work a lot of money <laughs> but it's something that 
we feel passionately about and we we want to do it and we're going to try and go about it as financially smart as we can but we still want to make this happen for us our property also is very unlevel it's literally like this and the creek is on this side so we know it's mostly going to be so much like land work earthwork dirt work whatever they call it and I mean, there's parts of this house that it's gonna be an investment, but we are saving, 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 saving so much money right now, as much as we can, so that we can cover those expenses and make it happen. Hopefully, I didn't bore you too much. Um, I know you probably wanna see Nash too. He's at school right now. He goes to school twice a week, but I'm pretty sure he will definitely be in the next vlog. So. The next vlog is going to be cabinet selections, and I think we get to see roof samples, siding samples, and metal samples. We're doing a mix like of metals in our exterior, which gives it that like hill country feel touch. So we are just, we're just so pumped for that. <laughs> If it happens to be your first time on my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You will not regret it. I put my heart and soul into this YouTube channel, even though I've had to like kind of take a step back. If you watch my videos, you can see that I don't just throw things up on this channel. I genuinely love it whenever I get the time to, but I also have a toddler. So give me grace. <laughs> It's so much fun though. I would not have it any other way. He's like so much fun. I take this over the newborn days any any day. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I think you're pretty much caught up to speed, but if you have any questions about the home building process or anything I said in this video or just about my life in general, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I would love to answer those for you. I I missed you. And I'm so glad that this house is giving me a reason to document because it's one of my favorite things to do oh my god and then i'm about to get knocked up